Hey, what's going on everybody? Hey, today I'm gonna to open up this blaster of series one, the hanger box, and this blaster of heritage. But before we get started, we're gonna go pay a visit to Sanford, Florida and uh, pay our respect for a gentleman that's buried there, right next to where uh, a man we visited last week in Sanford, Florida. So uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna open these up, take the cards out and have them in the three stacks. And when we get back, we'll just go ahead and go through them real quickly and uh, wrap this thing up. But uh, hit that like button if you don't mind, I really appreciate that. And uh, let's head up to Sanford, Florida, pay our respects, and then we'll get right back to this. Thomas Delahanty was born in Cleveland, Ohio. Now most references show him being born on March 9, 1872. However, his marker clearly shows his birth year as 1871. One thing we do know is that Tom played for the Philadelphia Phillies beginning in 1894 and finishing up with the Louisville Colonels in 1897. He finished with a 239 batting average. Tom was one of five brothers to play in the big leagues, and his older brother Ed is a Hall of Famer. Now sadly, two of them died from a fall, and Ed, his older brother, he actually fell and died into Niagara Falls. Now after his playing days, Tom worked as a machinist and toolmaker in his hometown of Cleveland. But in the late 20s, he moved to Sanford, Florida, and he ran a store around a fishing camp up to his full retirement age. Tom Delahanty was buried in Sanford, Florida, right here at the All Souls Cemetery. He died on January 10th, 1951. Alright, here we are back. I think I'm going to start with the hanger box and then I'll go to the Heritage and I'll finish the Series 1 blaster in a second. So, uh, Let's go ahead and dive into this. I want to get all the good stuff right now. I want to get this, this short of it. We'll start right here. Okay, let's give it a shot. I don't have a Wanda Franco yet. Maybe we'll find one of those today. That would be nice. Looking for something uh, flipped over. I meant like flipped over like that. I usually go back and separate all of my rookies when I get when I go back to it. I will see nothing too exciting right now. for this. I'm trying to get through them really quickly for you. Thanks for watching. It's late at night. I'm a little bit tired. And we have an autograph out of our hanger box. Just like gray. Very nice. Unexpected? Always welcome and appreciated. Not number. Just leave that up in a second. Very nice surprise. Get through these. Just a die cut. Jacob the girl boy things aren't looking too good for him so far this year, huh? Leave that up also. Anytime you get a, sig a signature autograph out of a hanger box, no matter what, you've had a successful hanger box. Always like that. Get through our horizontals. Always love to put the team cards in the horizontals. Future star. Brandon Marsh. 
Looks like he's, he's one of those guys that looks like they're having a hard time uh, get, keeping him out of the lineup. He's looking pretty solid. Did a big home run yesterday, I think it was. Okay, that was nice. Let's head over to the Heritage. Again, hit that like button if you uh, don't mind. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's see if we can pull a nice surprise out of these. Now, so far what I've seen is the... Uh, when you have a short print, these are one and three, so I'm hoping to get at least two short prints out of these. They're uh, just flipped over from what I've seen so far. If not, I'm going to go back and see if I find one. Because I'm expecting to get at least one or two out of this. Which means I should find one fairly soon. Ooh, those are very rare. I haven't seen many of those. That's kind of cool. So here we go. Here's our first short print. We know that because they're 401. 500. So we'll make sure we sleeve that up. Hold on, I've been keeping these in the camera. I really haven't been paying much attention. I apologize. So we hope we have one more shortcut out of this stack. Two would be fantastic. No wonder yet. Our second one. They were all of ours. If it were flipped over, you wouldn't think about it. I mean, this, both of these, this are like, like typical heritage cards. So we've gotten our two that we were expecting, and three would be a bonus. with the two, which was expected. Okay, that takes care of the heritage. All right, let's go through the series one and see if we can find any goodies in here. Can we find the Franco? The cemetery I went to earlier, there's four of them there. They're all side by side. And um, if you don't know where you're going, you don't know which one you're in because they're, they're just connected. And I've been to a few that are like that. It's kind of interesting. But I didn't realize uh, how much of a baseball history that Sanford, Florida actually has. Sanford has a huge baseball history. I need to go back up there and do a video on the stadium there. And I want, I want to go do a video on the stadium in Daytona Beach. And there's actually a connection from Sanford to the uh, Jackie Robinson Park in Daytona Beach. There's a connection there and I would like to talk about it when I do the video when I can get up there. But I'm working on it. Welcome to the show, Willie Mays. But yeah, lots of history in Sanford, Florida. We we'll get to it. I've been talking for a while now about having to go up and Dakota with a video, and I just have not had a chance to do it. But it's happening. It's coming. I'm feeling we're not going to get a wonder. You know, every, every break I'm watching, everything everyone has. This is going to be our gold card. Wins leaders. We'll sleep that up. But I think I said earlier, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Series 1. It's just, 
I, I like getting the short prints and I like getting the hits and uh, they're just few and far between. They really are. All right, last little bit. Well, maybe, who knows? Maybe my next video will be Daytona Beach. Maybe Sanford again. I don't know. Maybe I'll do two videos. Maybe I can squeeze them both into one. I think it's going to be two, though. But anyway... Mr. Bichette, okay. Major League season is four days away as I'm doing this video. Excited? That's gonna do it. Man, I'm off the bed. I am tired. And I really appreciate you watching again. And uh, next video, I'll probably get in front of the camera and do some talking and, and show you around a couple of places. So uh, anyway, as I'm shaking my camera, let me say good night. Thank you. Support Rick Woodfield. Look it up. And uh, they can really use your support. Classic place. Might be going back there again also here in a few months. All right. See you next time. Later.